¿Qué haces, Chem? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Acá andamos, ¿vos? Bien, pero ¿tienes algún problema? Eh, estoy medio bajoneado, la verdad. Me enganché con esta mina y me da bola. Pero hablaste con esa chica. Sí, no me la encaré, pero me la estuve chamullando un toque. Pasa que es una mina cheta, ¿viste? ¿Cheta? Sí, no sé si cheta, pero es una mina de guita. ¿De guita? Sí, que tiene plata. Mosca. Villuya. Dinero, boludo. Vos de acá no sos ni a palo, ¿no? ¡Uy, oh, qué quilón! ¿Despelote? ¿Despiole? ¿Qué haces, che? It's literally, what do you do? Here it's used to say, how are you? Or how are you doing? Che is optional. Acá andamos. This is how you say that you are not great without saying that you are not great. Of course, it's quite unusual to answer I'm bad or something like that when someone asks you how are you. Medio bajoneado. Medio means a half, and it's often used with adjectives meaning a bit. In this case, it's a bit depressed. Engancharse. It's similar to fall in love, but at a lower level. You know, in Spanish words like amor or enamorarse could be too deep or romantic sometimes. Notice that while we say engancharse con alguien, we say enamorarse de alguien, no enamorarse con, which is a common mistake when you translate it from the English structure to fall in love with someone. Mina, girl, a young woman, dar bola, to pay attention, in this context to accept having some kind of romantic relation, encarar, to face someone, to confront, in this case to say what you feel, chamuchar. It could be just talking or having a conversation, but it's usually used when there's a lie in it or when your intention is to flirt. Un toque. A little bit. Cheto or cheta is someone that belongs or pretends to belong to the high class. Ser de guita, de plata, mosca, bichuya. There are many different ways to say money in Spanish depending on the region. Mosca y bichuya are the less used in this group and a bit old fashioned from my point of view. But plata y guita are really common in Argentina. Guita is more informal. Ser de guita o ser de plata means being wealthy. Boludo, boluda. A complex word, sometimes used in a friendly way, sometimes as an insult. Avoid it if you are not sure, because it could be quite rude. Ni a palos. Similar to ni loco or ni en pedo, it means that you will never do something. Not in a million years, maybe? Quilombo, despelote, despiole. These words mean mess. Quilombo is the most frequent nowadays. Ah, la cosa que la mina está forrada en guita y yo soy una rata. No tengo donde caerme muerto, no tengo un mango partido al medio. ¿Y cuál es el problema? Y seguro que anda con pibes facheros, que tienen pinta, buena pilcha. Mira esta remera berreta, lo que Retrucha, amigo. Pasa que estoy sin laburo, ¿viste? Estoy viviendo de changas y... Me cabe andar garroneando, mangueándole a mi vieja. Ella me banca, no tiene historia, pero... La pilcha buena sale un huevo. ¿Un huevo? Y el loco una remera te cobran. Están re loco. <risa> Entendí loco. Claro, loco, remate, tan chapita, piantado. No le sube agua al tanque, faltan un par de jugadores. Sí, 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 entendí, loco. Bueno, la cosa es que te rompen el orto. Diez luco una remera es un choreo, un afano, hermano. No te pueden cobrar eso, ¿sabes cuánto le deben garpar a los pibitos que las hacen? No mango. Chau chipalito, ¿qué te pensás? Unos garca, unos chantas. Estar forrado en guita. Literally, it could be something like to be wrapped or covered in money. It obviously means being rich. 
ser una rata. In this case, it means being poor, but it could also mean being mean, stingy. No tener donde caerse muerto. No tener un mango, no tener un mango partido al medio. These expressions mean being really poor. Un mango es un peso. Andar con. To hang out with. Pibe. Boy. Young man. Ser fachero. Tener pinta. These expressions are used with men and mean being good looking. Pilcha. Remera. There are many different words for t-shirts in Latin America. In Argentina, it's remera. And pilcha means clothes in general. Although this word is pretty informal and old-fashioned in my opinion. Berreta. Trucho. These are adjectives to describe something of poor quality. Re. It's a prefix used before adjectives as an informal very or really. It's really easy. Es re fácil. Laburo is job, but we can also say laburar as a verb, to work. Changa is an informal temporary job that do not require high qualifications. No me cabe. I don't like. Garroniar, manguear, to ask something, usually money, to beg. Mi vieja, my mother, it doesn't matter if she's actually old. Bancar a alguien. To support someone, to help someone. No tener historia, to agree doing something with no worries. Salir un huevo, to be expensive, to be pricey. Lucas. Loco de remate, estar chapa, chapita, piantado, no subir agua al tanque, faltar un par de jugadores. Different creative ways of saying that someone is crazy. Romper el orto. In this case, is to charge too much for something. It could also mean to win a competition by a wide difference. Literally, it's... Well, well I can't tell you here what it is. Choreo, afano. A theft, a fraud. Garpar, to pay. It is frequent to find words with the syllables out of order in informal speech. In this case, is the verb pagar. This practice is called vesre, that means backwards or word box. Dos mangos, chau chai palito, very little money. Garca is another example of vesre. The original word is cagar, meaning to cheat, to swindle. Garca and chanta are different ways of saying swindle. que la voy a invitar a tomar unos mates salir de joda también es caro eh entre que vas a morfar, la previa la entrada al boliche, el escabio yo estoy acostumbrado a salir con piba de barrio, viste vamos al chino, compramos una birra tiramos la plaza bueno, pero no todo es dinero ¿verdad? más vale, si la mina es piola le va a chupar un huevo la guita, yo soy un chabón copado igual aguanta no me des manija, ¿eh? no me metas ficha, no me las voy a levantar ni en pedo. ¿Por qué no? Me va a cortar el rostro. ¿Sabes lo que pasa, flaco? Es muy pendeja para mí. Es tonta. Nah, qué tonta. Es repilla, no es ninguna boluda. Pero es pendeja. Y yo ya soy un tipo grande, ¿me entendés? Encima estoy hecho percha. La otra vuelta corrí el bondi y casi la quedo. Posta. Encima el forro no paraba, qué gil, madre mía. Yo estoy miado por los perros, tengo una mala leche. Y no me quiero hacer mala sangre, me lo voy a tomar con soda. Me fui al carajo, ¿no? Nada que ver con lo que estábamos hablando. Che, ¿y vos qué onda? ¿Qué sos? ¿Un tordo? ¿Un cana? ¿Qué hace tanta pregunta? Bueno, estudio tu variedad de la lengua española. ¿Pero te garpa no? Porque estás al pedo nomás. No, estoy interesado especialmente en Argentina. ¿En Argentina? Este país es una poronga, hermano. Bueno, tiene cosas malas. ¿Qué dijiste, Argentina? No, como todos los países tiene defectos. ¿Qué defectos? ¡Ojo, eh! Guarda con bardear mi país, eh. No, perdón, perdón. Eh, solo falta una expresión más. 
di algo. Cualquier cosa. No hinché la bola. Salir de joda. This means go potting. Una joda could be a party or a joke. Morfar. To eat. Previa. This is a meeting before go partying. Boliche. In Argentina, it's a place to drink and dance. A disco, a club maybe. Escabio. Alcoholic beverages. Ser de barrio. It means that you are not part of the high society, being a working class or middle class. El Chino. Small supermarkets run by Chinese immigrants in Argentina. La Birra. It's an Italianism. The beer. Más vale. Obviously. Ser piola. Being cool, being smart. Le chupa un huevo. She doesn't matter at all. She doesn't give up. Chabón. Young man. Guy. Copado. Cool. Aguanta. It's the imperative form of the verb aguantar. In this case, it means stop. Wait. Dar manija. Meter ficha. To motivate someone. Sometimes too much. Levantarse a alguien. To succeed in a flirtation attempt. Ni en pedo. Ni a palos. Not in a million years. Cortar el rostro. I think the equivalent in English could be to give someone the cold shoulder. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. Flaco. Literally thin, skinny, but it could be used with fat guys too as an expression. Pendejo, pendeja. In other regions means fool, idiot or something like that, but in Argentina it means young. Pillo, pilla. Smart. Tipo. Man. Guy. Estar hecho percha. It means being in a bad shape in this case. Percha is hanga. La otra vuelta. The other day. Bondi. Vas. Quedarla. To die. La posta means the true. The equivalent in Mexican Spanish is la neta. Forro. Condom. As an insult, it means evil. Bad person. Un gil. Another insult, a silly person. Estar meado por los perros, tener mala leche. To have extremely bad luck. Hacerse mala sangre. To worry a lot about something. It has to do with overthinking. Tomarse algo con soda. It is the opposite of hacerse mala sangre. It's like, take it easy, tomatelo con soda. Irse al carajo. In this case, it's talking about something that has nothing to do with the original conversation. No tiene nada que ver. It has nothing to do. Not a local expression, but frequently used in Argentina. ¿Qué onda? Really general question. In this case, it's something like, what about you? Tordo. Besre of doctor. Cana. Police officer. Estar al pedo. Having nothing to do. Having a lot of free time. Sometimes al pedo also means in vain. Watch my video about expressions with pedo and huevo. Una poronga. Something really bad. Poronga is one of the many names for the penis. Guarda. Be careful. Bardear. To say bad things about something or someone. Hinchar las bolas. To annoy. ¿Estás contando la verga esta?